everybody. We're here getting unloaded in Brainerd, Minnesota. Just about finished. From here we head to Duluth, Minnesota. I have a load of uh, some manufactured steel to pick up there. As soon as we get these two lifts off of here, I'm out of here. It's that messy season. And we're gonna be in this for a while yet, so. It is what it is. Still having fun. Out of here. Just been rush, rush, rush again, but a story of my life. We have to rush over to Duluth. So they'll load me today yet. So if I don't get there on time, I gotta wait till tomorrow morning. I think I gotta be there before three, and it looks like I am gonna be there around two o'clock. As long as I hurry. Hoink. Let everybody know I'm coming out. We have a little quack of the horns. Right. Oh, that sun, that ball of fire doing its thing. Just gonna quickly go and close that door for him there. I think they have a remote inside there, but. Just in case I go close it anyway. Try to save some of that warm air they got in there. So, some bad news. The shipper we're going to closes at 2 p.m., not 3 p.m. I knew they closed early, but I was really hoping it was 3 p.m. I thought that's what I remembered. So we're not gonna make it. It's already quarter after two, and I'm about half hour away, a little over half hour. So we're gonna go park right at their gate and be loaded first thing in the morning. It's kind of too bad. More than a little too bad, because I wanted to get reloaded and get home tonight yet, or at least back to our yard. But uh, that's trucking, you know, it's just the way it is. Some days are disappointing and some days are uh, exciting. Other days are boring. That's ah, fine. I need to sort of clean up the inside of my truck here anyway, give it a little detail. I'll have plenty of time for that tonight now. I didn't have any time to do anything to the truck really besides the steering wheel and shifter over Christmas holidays. takes us back to our yard be back there tomorrow night and I'm hoping I can get another load in that'll keep me busy through New Year's but it's our slow season right now 
and most of our customers, well, they're, most of our shippers or receivers will be closed for New Year's, right? So there may not be anywhere I could actually pick up a load or deliver a load until the New Year anyway. And we'll see what they got for me. I'll give them a call tomorrow. For now, we're just gonna get to Duluth. Hopefully we'll be first in line and just park right at the gate. Got here at three o'clock, fast as I could go. Got unloaded and came straight here. They open up at 6 a.m. Honest question, honest question. You ready? Why do shippers and receivers close in the middle of the afternoon? Why? Why can't we all just work a normal work day until like five o'clock? There's a lot of places like this though. Nice people. I mean, it was just, they start at 6 a.m. They're done at two. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. That's eight hours. Must be nice to work part-time. <laughs> You know, they could have a 10 hour shift and then work till four or start at 7.30 and even work till 3.30. That's that's close, 3.30 is better than two. But I'd say uh, they should be open till like five, five to six, five o'clock. And a lot of places that close down early, they go home in the middle of the day. And that's just the way they do things. And so the rest of us that are working regular hours are sort of forced to, you know, lost revenue for today. I mean, I could have picked this load up and been all the way back at our yard tonight and been picking up another load tomorrow morning. But uh, now we're, uh, we're stuck here for the next 15 hours or so till we can start getting loaded. Oh, well, we'll make the most of it.
Uh, I'm going to clean off the truck here, get some work done on the vlog and stuff, detail the truck a little bit here, watch some YouTube, maybe some Netflix, if I have time, we'll see. Got to get the work done first. And I got work to do. I got to organize this truck. It's been a while since I've, uh, you know, I like to take everything off the shelves, take everything out and purge, which is something that I don't usually do in the house because I'm a pack rat at home, but in the truck, this is a very small space and I only want what I absolutely need in this small space. If I don't need it, out, get it out of here. It's too small of a space. I hate it when everything's just packed right up and then I bring like a new thing in, like my new kettle, right? And then if I don't have space for it, I'm like, what's all this stuff doing in here that I don't need? But speaking of which, I got some hot water here right now. I'm going to uh, make some soup. Well, only 14 hours left to go till we can get loaded. I've gotten caught up on all my videos and stuff right here. They're just rendering. That's why the truck's running right now, because I got to be able to power the computer. I was also making food just before I had my new kettle working. Thing works awesome, heats the water up way faster than the other one, and it heats it up way hotter, if that makes sense. Because the other one got it to boil too, but this one just seems to make it even hotter. But it is definitely a lot faster, I really like it. Kettle is working great. I don't like waiting. Some of you might wonder, what do you do in the truck when you have to wait? Exactly this, right here. Exactly this. Look, my jeans are all dirty from rolling up those tarps earlier today. Ah! Ah, tomorrow's a new day. We'll start a new day all clean, ready to go. Ugh. For tonight, uh, this is what we do when we have to wait for uh, our loads. We Nothing. I mean, I'm gonna organize the truck yet because I haven't even started on that. I wanted to get my videos caught up with first. We didn't film anything through the Christmas holidays. I was selfish and kept all of that time just for me and my family to enjoy it together instead of having a camera in everyone's face. And that's, that's sort of a habit I've gotten into. I've gotta be able to separate work, vlogging, and family. And when it's family time, it's family time. But uh, we'll see. Maybe in the future we'll, uh, a little more I mean this coming year will be very different I know I keep talking about it a lot but there's there's a baby coming a couple of months it's crazy now it's going fast it'll be uh, in her third trimester next weekend I think yeah we're gonna have a little baby running around and that'll be a big part of the vlog too I mean I'm still gonna be out here on the road doing my thing so It'll still mostly be a lot about trucking and traveling, but I'll probably want to include a lot more when I'm at home. Because there's going to be so much going on all the time. Every day is something new, right? But, we'll see. Sometimes when I'm at home, I just want to... Just be home, you know, and relax. Unlike now, I don't want to just be sitting here relaxing. I'd like to be working. That's why I'm at work. I would like to be working. But no. I am forced to relax. How late am I? Oh! Under 14 hours now. Some projects I have to do when I get home. Like I've been repeatedly telling you. The marker lights, they've been delivered now. So they're waiting for me back at home. Gotta replace all of them on top of there and on the fenders. Uh, my, I'll have to show you tomorrow in the light, uh, the center place where the, the license plate is, uh, where the lights are, not the, ha not the mudflap hangers, but the, where the original lights are set with the backup lights and the, and the license plate is starting to break off. So I've got it like strapped on there real good now. So it's going to stay there. But this is my excuse to replace that now with the matching chrome centerpiece that'll match my mud flap hangers. So I plan on going to pick that up when I get home, installing that so it'll all match right across. That'll be nice. Uh, like I always say, when something breaks, 
you just fix it. And you replace it, but you replace it with something better. That's that's the goal. Hey, old blue is getting a little old. I mean, we're nearing three million kilometers or two million miles. The motor isn't nearly that old, though. The motor's doing great. But, you know, little things here, cosmetic stuff and other things, you know, fall off or they break or, you know, they get old. And you got to replace it. So I've committed to myself that when I do have to replace parts, I just replace it with something better, something that looks better. So that centerpiece in the center of my frame that had my tail lights, backup lights, and license plate on it, uh, it's gonna be replaced with like a square chrome piece. It's exactly like my mud flap hangers. It'll have the clear LED lenses in there. I have a license plate holder built right onto it there. It'll look really nice. Let's see. You'll see, trust me, trust me. So there's that that I gotta do, I gotta fix that. This is there. We gotta paint the house. Got gotta continue getting that nursery ready. So far, I've gotten the door done. <laughs> gotten a few doors done in the house. I want to finish. I have two more doors to do, plus our master bedroom closet. We're painting all of that, and then I'm gonna start with the baby's room, paint that whole room, ceiling, and everything, and then I'll move to the master bedroom, and then I'll move throughout the whole house. I want to get the whole house painted uh, this winter if I can. Let's see. Projects, projects, projects. There is never a boring day. There is never time to be bored, except for right now. Because I can't do any of my projects here now. I don't have my shop here, I don't have all my tools here. I have some tools, but not all my tools. And it's cold outside, so I'm not gonna start fiddling around with wiring and stuff out in the cold, in the dark. Wait till we're at home. And, you know, after this, my videos are all caught up with. This is one of the few times where I can actually say I'm, I'm bored. But that's not going to last long because you know what? I've already told you, i got to organize this truck. So there's no time to be bored. No time to be bored. you got to get up. The longer you let yourself sit and be lazy, the more lazy you are. I'm smart like that. So thanks for tagging along with me on this short day. We drove from Brainerd to Duluth in Minnesota. This wasn't the plan. The plan was to get loaded today and get out of here and go all the way back home. So this was a short day for me, but I guess we'll uh, get it done tomorrow then. Tune in on tomorrow's vlog. If you uh, haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Go check out my playlists on my main page. Tons of videos from like 10 years, all, all nicely organized into playlists for you there. But the big thing is leave me a comment down below. Hit the like button if you liked it, and we'll see you tomorrow.